In this video, let us talk more about task assignments. To demonstrate you this, I will unassign all resources from the top layer cutoff task, make a right click and unassign all resources. We see here that in the 3D resources cell is blank. And now let's shift to the end of the project. Go to the Windows tab and activate 3D objects. In a situation when we have to assign some 3D resource to the task, but this 3D resource is not visible on the 3D view, we need to use 3D objects tab. Here we have categories, and in order to show the top layer of the Earth, we will simply hide elements from the 3D view. It can be done by unticking them one by one, or you can select multiple objects from the 3D objects window, make a right click, go to load, unload, and select unload selected. Now let's expand the topography and find the top layer. This procedure is necessary to assign a proper resource to a proper task. So we are hiding unnecessary categories and elements, and then by selecting a proper resource, we are assigning it to a task. So before we assign this resource to a task, we have to select a proper appearance profile. This can be done from the Navigator tab, Appearance Profiles, or you can select it from the Quick Access Toolbar, Appearance Profiles, and Excavation the one that we created on the previous video. Select excavation, highlight the resource from the 3D objects window, then we need to select a task from the gun chart. It will be the top layer cutoff. And now let's see all the ways that we can use for assigning this resource to a task. First of all, you can make a right click or any place in the 3D view and select Assign to selected tasks. Choose it. And now one resource has been assigned. Let's roll back. The next alternative is to drag it from the 3D view and drop it over the highlighted task. For that, hold the Alt button down, press over the highlighted resource with the left mouse key, and then drag it over highlighted tasks. And you can see that this has been assigned and assign all resources. But this method may cause problems if you drop it over a wrong task so you can mess up with the resource tasks assignment. In case of this 3D object was turned to a resource, you can assign it from the 3D objects window. Make a right click over the surface and choose assign to selected tasks. The same way you can open resource window from the windows tab, go to resources, Select the same object from the 3D view. You see that resource surface has been highlighted. And from here, you can either drag it from the list and drop it over the task, or making a right click over the resource, you can assign it to a selected task. All task assignments can be checked from the task properties. Open task properties from the windows. And select resources. So here we have one resource assigned, which can be unassigned from the task from this window. Selecting the resource and making a right click over it, you can either unassign the particular resource or clear all resource assignments from the task. Or you can simply press over the delete button and delete it from the task assignments. Let's assign it back again. And from another side, you can check for what tasks resource have been assigned. For that, open the resource properties and click over the tasks. You can select from here the task that is associated with the resource. You remember that if you select a resource or 3D object, it's highlighted in purple. To clear selection, you can make a right click and then deselect all or 
press escape button a couple of times to check out whether the appearance profiler and resource assignments is proper, scroll the focus time before the actual start of the task execution and see whether everything is fine with this resource. So this is the resource. So before the task started, its appearance is original holo. Then during the task execution, we have a growth simulation, simulating the layering cutoff. And after the task is finished, we don't see this resource in the 3D view anymore. So this makes us to conclude that this appearance profile and resource assignment is correct. The task duration is seven days. And zoom in and see it from here. Also, you can track the focus time from here. You can select any other date or click over the focus time button to adjust the time machine.